Hi there YouTube family and welcome to the video where I'm going to be showing you my mascara routine. I'm also going to be talking about eyelash health, how you can get them to be the healthiest possible and how you can get them to grow long so that you don't need false lashes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to work on one eye first. I always work on one eye at a time. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit and we're going to do the comparison of one eye done and then the other eye not done and then we're going to go Go ahead and finish our eyelashes and then we'll talk about eyelash health and growth right after so let's get into the video i'm going to zoom you in a little bit closer and, and then you'll be able to see what the steps are that i use to get insanely long lashes we're gonna start out with talking about eyelash curlers i've said before in my videos that i don't believe that all eyelash curlers are created equal this is a shiseido eyelash curler that and I, I absolutely love this thing and i got this one from octoly from kevin aquan a long time ago so it's not about reviewing it i just want to show you the difference hopefully we can see the difference in these two curlers this one is the shiseido the one that is kind of the gunmetal and then the silver one is the kevin aquan and if you see how much more arched the kevin aquan one is than the shiseido one this i really feel like keeps me from tugging on my eyelashes as i'm curling them and i do feel like curling your eyelashes is so so very important because if they're straight out you're going to be looking more at a straight lash straight on but when they're fanned up you can kind of see the detail in the eyelashes so i feel like it's really important to curl so that's what we're going to do first and i have had people ask me do you pinch one time or do you pump your eyelash curler? Personally, I just pinch one time. And so I'm gonna go in as close as I feel like I can get and I will hold it there and not, I don't know, count to five. I don't know, I don't really have that sort of it down as far as how long. And then I'm gonna let go of it and I'm gonna take it at a different spot. I don't feel like I pull it out. I don't feel like I push it in. I just feel like I get different spots as I let go and curl it. So I'm going to do this three times on each eye, but like I said, we're going to work on one eye at a time. I feel like that's super important because it helps with the eyeliner not drying out on your eyelashes, and it also helps with the mascara not drying out too much. Okay, this step is not a step that's super important. I do find that if you have somewhere that you're going to go that you are going to be really dressy and you want to have your eyelashes look extra special, you can do this part. Just take a clean, fluffy brush not super fluffy but a you know smaller one get a little bit of powder on this is the fit me loose powder from Maybelline just get a little bit of that powder on and act like you're actually brushing your lashes with an eyelash comb or your eyelash wand your mascara wand and that coats those lashes just a little bit now I'm going to take a black or brown whichever one you prefer eyeliner that is a felt tip. I just recently got this one from Tarte in one of their holiday sets. I love how skinny the tip is. Rimmel has a really good one too that has a really skinny tip. Now I go in right after I've curled them and I'm going to go in from the inner corner all the way to almost the outer corner but I'm going to leave like about a quarter inch out there and I'll tell you why as soon as I'm done lining. So I did leave that outer corner just a little bit open. I didn't go all the way down because I feel like if you pull that down, if you already have droopy eyelids from, you know, be, from aging or if you have downturned eyelid, eyes, then what's going to happen is if you come out there and you take it right down that line, it's going to make your eye look pulled down even more. So I stay away from that outer part. And now, also I want to tell you that the reason that I do this after I curl my eyelashes is because if I did it before, I feel like my eyelashes might have a little bit of eyeliner on them and I curled them and they get a little bit clumpy. So, so I always feel like it's important to curl then eyeliner okay so this is the milani um, most wanted lashes i really like how this coats my lashes and then dries down really soft without making them feel crunchy and so what we're going to do is i'm just going to go in and i'm almost going to feel like i'm touching that upper eye line or eyelash line and i do that because out here where we didn't put any liner we're actually gonna to touch that to make it come clear down to the eyelash root. That is so important. 
because you want to make it as thick as possible and as defined as possible, but you can't do that unless you're going all the way down to the root of the eyelashes or to the base of the eyelash line. Then when I start to get that well done, then I'm going to just gently go underneath on top of the lashes and I'm going to touch them. And I'm just doing that because that will start to add length. And we are just going to continue to work and turn our brush on our eyelash as we go. I'm going to work all of these eyelashes out here and then I'm going to continue to work in. The reason I continue to, to touch the tips underneath and then continue to comb up is I'm getting length by touching and then I'm getting separation and volume by going in underneath and doing your eyelashes the regular way. And I continue to do this and continue to work with this eye until I feel like it's kind of starting to clump and then I don't want to go any further because that's when the definition of the eyelashes goes away. Keep turning your mascara wand in your finger because the other side will have more product on it. Okay, now once you feel like you've completely exhausted that wand, if you aren't getting clumpy, you can go back down into the tube, pick up a little bit more and keep going. This is a really good mascara for that. It continues to allow you to build and build and build and not have it get clumpy. A no. lot of people say stop and go in with a second coat. I actually don't do that. I will put on a little bit of waterproof on top of this mascara and I'll show you that in a second. But what I want to show you right now is the bottom lash line. With the top lashes, I felt like that tight lining was really important to make those roots look really voluminous. So with the bottom, I'm feeling like the same thing. So what I'm going to do with this, this is the Milani Stay Put eyeliner. It's I supposed to be waterproof. This is the slate one. I'm going to take that pencil clear out here to the outer part of the eyelashes or the eye and then I'm going to go about halfway in and line it. This is a small smudger brush from Morphe and I'm just going to go in and I'm going to smudge it all the way to the inner line. And the reason that I like the smudginess on it instead of having the stark line is I just feel like it gives my eye a softer look. The majority of that eyeliner is going to stay right out here in the outer corner and that's going to give you an upturned look. Now I use a different mascara for this part. The Benefit They're Real is what I use for this because I love the way this wand catches all of the eyelashes on the bottom. It has like a fanned out effect on the bottom there. So I'm going to go in. I can't do horizontal like some people do. I make a mess because of my hands that shake so bad. So I go along vertical here. So I'm going to go back and forth this wand will grab every single eyelash you have down there from the inner corner to the outer corner and since it is a little bit waterproof I will take it on that upper lashes and I will just run it through over them you can use just regular waterproof if you have some from the drugstore because you've already used the regular mascara on there it's going to be really easy to take off at night just really keep working on one eye and that is my biggest tip for you if you do one eye at a time you're still going to have the soft in the eye lashes they won't dry out and get crunchy so and we've done one eye I want you to see the difference now the reason that I feel like it's so effective in what I do for my mascara routine is because I do the liner in a specific way that helps those lashes look like they're super voluminous and hopefully you can see what I'm talking about they just look really long they look really fanned out okay one more time on the other eye go ahead. Okay, you guys that's the eyelash routine I hope that you can see it really good and that you can see how fanned out and how long the eyelashes look with working on one eye and then working on the other eye and also the eyeliner and how important that is I'm going to pan back a little bit we're going to talk about eyelash health and what I do to grow my eyelashes all right so that was the tutorial. I hope that those little tips did help you. But I feel like 50% of what needs to be told in an eyelash tutorial is how the health of your eyelashes and taking care of your eyelashes and using a girl serum can really get you this same kind of effect on your eyes. About two years ago, this, this company X Lash sent me as a, as a PR, just a small tube of the X Lash serum for eyelash growth. And I started using it. And when I read on the box, it said 
please be patient. Three weeks, you won't notice anything. Four weeks, you might no start noticing something. By five weeks, you're gonna notice a dramatic result. Well, I had used tons of different serums. Grande Lash, Rapid Lash, Vital Lash. I had used so many different ones and never gotten any good results from them. So I was like, yeah, whatever. But I'll, I told this company that I would try that. So I went ahead and I did it and it, seriously, at the five week mark, I'm like, honey, look at my lashes. I was showing my husband, can you believe how long my lashes are? Because I've never had lashes like this in my whole life. So I really do attribute that to the X Lash Serum. This is two years later. I've repurchased this four or five times on my own. It's not sponsored from the company, but this growth serum really works. But I feel like it's the basic factor that's given me eyelashes to where I don't need to wear false eyelashes. So this tube is a double tube right here. It's six milliliters and it's $60. And yes, I know that sounds like a lot, but this will last me six plus months. So it's between six and nine months, I'll be able to get this tube to last, which works out to be like $10 or less a month which is less than going out to eat once. So, and the smaller one I did find, it's $40 on Amazon, but I did find it on walmart.com um, for 35. So I am going to link all of those. The smaller one is half this size. So I'm going to link all of that information down below. All of the mascaras, the liners, the powder, everything I use, the eyelash curler, it's all going to be linked down below. I do want to tell you a couple of things though that I also feel like are really important for eyelash health. Eyelashes grow in a cycle just like our hairs do, but it's much more sped up. It's much speedier than the hair on our head is growing. So our eyelashes have about a four to six week growth cycle. Then they fall out and then they go into a little bit of a dormant stage and then they begin to grow again. What that serum does, you paint it on your lash line once a night. I didn't tell you that. That's a really important thing. You don't have to mess with it twice a day. So you paint it on there. And what it does is as the eyelashes are growing, it keeps them so healthy that they get their longest that they can possibly get. And I have noticed less shedding with this product as well. I have an oil from The Ordinary. This is just their Argon oil. And what this oil does, it does exactly what it does to your hair. It just conditions it and gives it strength and gives it softness so that they're not breaking, so that they're not falling out before they need to. And I will put a couple of drops and just very gently, after I that serum has dried, very gently go over just to condition my eyelashes. And a bonus of using an oil like this is it actually will condition and really hydrate that line around your eye so you'll have less creping around there and less wrinkles around there. You do a really light massage around there. You're bringing the blood to the surface there and you're helping your eyelashes grow also because once blood gets to any part of your body, it's helping with collagen production. It's helping with growth of a follicle all that kind of good stuff. You okay, know, the last thing I wanna talk about is the way that you treat your eyelashes when tonight I'm going to get ready to take off all of this mascara and eye makeup. I feel like it's so important not to tug on those. And that can be hard when you wear waterproof mascara because you know it takes quite a bit of rubbing to get that off if you don't use something that, that has a lot of emollients to it that can take it off. This right here is from Hylamide. It's called the High Efficiency Face Cleaner. Now I don't use this all over my face because it's just a little bit too oily. You can definitely feel the oils in it, but it would break down any makeup that you had. I use it on my lash line. Now, you don't have to purchase something like this. If you have olive oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, any of those oils you can take off your eye makeup with. You can even take it off with Vaseline if you want to, or baby oil. All of those are okay. Just make sure that you cleanse it off afterwards, cleanse that oil off afterwards. And be careful with coconut oil. I know that some people are allergic to it and it can cause them to break out really bad or have allergies. My own mom is really allergic to coconut oil, so she has to be super careful. Last but not least, if you haven't been turned on to the microfiber washcloths for cleansing your face, I'm here to tell you that this is it. <laughs> this is so great. Once you get to the point to where you've already rubbed that cleanser and you're taking off that eye makeup, 
you use this and it's going to take away every drop, every ounce of makeup, um, waterproof makeup. It's going to help take that off. These microfiber cloths have been completely invaluable. I've mentioned them before. I will mention them a million times, but for me, they are just absolutely essential in taking off my makeup. I don't have to do a double cleanse with them because I can just wring them out and go back in with the cloth and it's gentle enough to take off any excess makeup. And you can wring it out as many times as you want and they come out looking great. Occasionally they'll get a little stain on them, but the next time that they come out of the wash, they'll be great. So these are so good for taking off eye makeup and being gentle. I mean, you're not scrubbing those eyes. You're being gentle enough to just take off that makeup. So. That's my last tip. This is a long video, I know, but I really wanted to share with you guys everything about my eyelash routine, what I feel like really contributes to them being healthy, voluminous, and long, and then also what I do to make them look that way with eye makeup on. So that's everything for today's video. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you like seeing these kind of in-depth tutorials, please give me a thumbs up. I really would appreciate that. It does help me get my video out there so that other people can see it too. If you want insanely long lashes, this video has been for you. I hope that you enjoyed it. Take care of yourselves. I love you very much and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.